Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the War Train here, and in today's video, I can't wait to show you guys my newest game and pickups. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, think about subscribing. With that said, let's check out these games. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys some stuff and then in the end of the video, I'm actually gonna have a guest come on and tell you guys which is his favorite three items out of all these pickups. Uh, now, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is a retro haul that I recently picked up. Um, I did pay $100 for this stuff from a guy I work with and it was a pretty decent little haul here. So first I'll go through this stack of games now this first one here is for the GameCube and that is Spider-Man and I can't remember remember I think most of this stuff is complete not all of it but for a good chunk of it is definitely complete at least all of it has the box um, this next one is probably the ones I was more excited out of these games to, to get and that is Mega Man Network Transmission for the GameCube um, a game I'm not familiar with, never played it, don't know much about it, but looking forward to checking this one out. And luckily this one is a complete copy as well. Now this next one is a game that I did have when the Xbox 360 originally came out, but I did not have this version of it and I don't have that copy anymore. And that is for uh, Perfect Dark. Um, Perfect Dark Zero for the Xbox 360. This is an awesome looking steel book. Uh, really cool on the back as well. Let's see if this one is complete. And yes, it is. It has, it looks like at least two discs in there and the manual. Let's see. Yeah, two discs and a manual, so really cool. This next one's for original Xbox and that is Counter-Strike. I know there's a, a big fan base around this game. I have never played Counter-Strike, so definitely looking forward to checking this one out. And this one here is also a complete copy, so that's pretty cool. This next one here is a game that I've been looking for for a little while. Um, never played it, personally, and that's for original Xbox, and that is Spider-Man 2. And I hope this one's complete, I'm not really sure. Let's see here, nope, <laughs> unfortunately it is missing the manual, um, but that's okay, at least there is the case, and the case is in definitely nice condition. Uh, this next one here for the PlayStation 2, and that is Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, and this one is a complete copy. So another stack of the pile here. Um, this next one, another Lord of the Rings games for the PlayStation 2, and that is The Return of the King. And this one is a complete copy. So the next one here, another PlayStation 2 title, and this is Lara Croft Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness. Really cool to have this in my collection. And Fortunately, this one is also a complete copy. Another one for the PlayStation 2 is no other than Ratchet and Clank. Now, I do believe this is the first Ratchet and Clank game in the series. And unfortunately, this one's missing a manual. And this next one here is for PS2, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. Uh, definitely really like the artwork on this cover. Uh, nice and shiny. I love that metallic finish. And unfortunately, this one's missing a manual as well. And another one here for the PlayStation 2 is Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. And this one is a complete copy. So pretty cool right there. Glad to have this one in my collection finally. Okay, so for the next stack of games, uh, this one is a PlayStation 2 title, and that is the original Kingdom Hearts release. And let's see here. Unfortunately, no manual. <laughs> the next one for PlayStation 2 is no other than Kingdom Hearts 2. And this one, 
Unfortunately, no manual either. All right, so this next one is an Xbox 360 title. It's got a bunch of stickers still on the case, <laughs> and this is the collector's edition for Halo 2, the Steelbook edition. Uh, pretty awesome looking Steelbook here. I don't remember if this one is complete, and unfortunately not. And I don't know if I said Xbox 360, this is actually original OG Xbox, but nevertheless, really cool to have that Steelbook edition. Next one for 360 is Destroy All Humans Path of the Furon. So pretty cool to have that. And this one is a complete copy. This next one here is for 360 and it is no other than Grand Theft Auto 5. And let's see if this has the manual all right this looks to be a complete copy so pretty cool there i don't think i ever played the 360 version of grand theft auto 5 i think i only played it on like um xbox one and the next one here is no other for 360 than gears of war 2 freaking excellent excellent game and this one unfortunately no manual <laughs> And this last one in this pile is for the Xbox 360 and is no other than Borderlands 2. And this one is a complete copy. <laughs> Been a while since I cleaned these up, so I couldn't remember you know, which ones were complete and which ones weren't. Uh, but I got all of those games in that huge stack. And I also got some Super Nintendo games that came in this little plastic container. So I'll go through these guys real quick, show you what I got. The first one here is no other than Donkey Kong Country. Such an excellent, excellent game. Um, I already did have this, but this is definitely an upgrade because the, the label on this is in really nice condition. Next one I did not have, and that is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in excellent condition as well next one is another one i did not have and that is toy story pretty cool game this one i did not have and this is let's see road runners death valley death valley rally uh, so pretty cool i haven't checked this one out but looking forward to it I almost picked out one up a couple times before. This next one I did not have, and I did already play this. Um, excellent, excellent 2D sprite work, and that is Porky Pig's Haunted House. Um, this game definitely really looks good on the um, Super Nintendo. And the last one in this um, group here is one that I didn't have, but played a ton of it on the Super Nintendo back in the day. And that is no other than Mortal Kombat 3. So pretty freaking dope right there. So that was all the games that I got from my buddy at work. And there was one more item. Like I said, I paid $100 for all this stuff. And if he finds any more stuff, he's going to wind up just giving it to me, um, you know, later because his parents, I think, were moving and he was just cleaning out like some of him and his brother's childhood games. And the last item is really freaking cool because I did not, believe it or not, I did not own this console. Um, I have the analog Super NT and it's no other than the original Super Nintendo. And this thing is in just excellent condition after I cleaned it up. Uh, you know, it didn't yellow or anything, still gray, in a really nice shape, working. I played on it, it came with the cables, but no controllers. So as you can see, I do have the 8-bit uh, do wireless uh, controller uh, thing in there so that I can play it with a wireless Super Nintendo controller. So uh, really freaking cool, really nice to finally have one of these and be able to put it on my CRT and play some Super Nintendo. Okay, so then some other stuff. Now, this was actually given to me by a, another one of my coworkers, a female, uh, Maria, really, really cool chick. 
and she gave me her 25th anniversary Super Mario Brothers DS. And this thing is in absolutely just excellent condition. Um, I have a game in there that I started up just to show you how neat this is. I actually have one of the Castlevania DS games in there. Um, just looks freaking great. Uh, this thing, she really took a, you know care of it. I was really happy to see that. She gave me all the cables and stuff for it. Uh, I believe it has an SD card in it and stuff already. So yeah, just really freaking cool. The body of this thing is absolutely immaculate. You know, any of the scratches are very, very small and just, you know, I, I probably wouldn't have had it in this nice condition if I owned this, to be honest with you. Looks like it was just put in a drawer after, you know, maybe playing on it for like six months or something. So really nice to have that. And I just want to say thank you to Maria for, for giving me that. Really cool. And that actually had a game inside of it. And the game is Junior Classic Games. So I don't know much about this, but obviously her like grandchildren or whatever played on this DS. So yeah, really, really cool that she did that. And I'll show you just the last three games that you know I ha have picked up. Um, this first one here is for the PlayStation 5, and that is no other than Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core um, Reunion. Uh, yeah, Reunion, uh, the remaster. This game is absolutely excellent. I did completely play through this already. Uh, just what a freaking blast. This game looks great. Definitely in between a remake and a remaster. Somewhere in between, probably more on the remake side. Because I do own this game on the uh, PSP and it does definitely not look this nice. So, um, you know, glad that they did uh, a re-release of this finally on a new system. So happy to have that. And these last two games I actually ordered quite a while ago. And I finally received them in the mail from, let's see, from Retrobit. The first one here is for the NES and this is a re-release um, like a reproduction cart of Battletoads Double Dragon and it's really cool because this has a plastic protector on the outside of it and I'm not sure what I want to do with this probably well, I might leave these sealed um, you know this comes with a stand or whatever to put the NES card on it um, but this is really freaking cool and I had to pick this up when I seen it um, something unique too about the graphics of this on the NES just looks freaking awesome and the next one is from Retrobit as well, and that is for the Game Boy original, and that is Avenging Spirit. Now, I never knew of this game until they were re-releasing it. From what I understand, it's a pretty pricey game, and it's really nice, the packaging on here. Again, another plastic protector, and it shows it on the back. This actually has a glow-in-the-dark cartridge, and just really nice box, and uh, you know, just some like, uh, li little uh, hidden Easter eggs on the box itself and inside of it. So yeah, uh, really, really nice re-releases here from Retrobit. I definitely wouldn't mind getting more of these, but it's like <laughs> not as bad as Limited Run, but they definitely take a little while till you get them uh, from when you pre-order them. Okay, so those were my pickups, but now I want to bring in a special person to rate this stuff. Okay guys, so I got my son here. Um, it's been a while since he's been on the channel. So I'm gonna have him pick his top three things, starting with three, counting down two to one of his favorite things that he has. Um, okay, buddy, so what is your number three pick out of the, this stuff, what you like out of all of it? Like my third one? Your like third one. What is the third coolest item here? This one. Okay. <laughs> So if you can't see guys, he picked Avenging Spirit. Um, just really freaking cool looking. Um, what do you think? This really cool looking? Is that, that what you like about it? Yeah, that's like a, I feel like it's gonna be a puzzle game because when I looked on the back, it looked like kind of like a Pac-Man. No, it's not a puzzle game. It's a, it's a um, where you can actually, I think, possess other characters and use different people in the game. And you unlock stuff? I'm sure you do unlock stuff. I'm not really sure how this game works, but it really does look cool. Yeah, the cover is really The cover is cool. awesome, yeah. And uh, the cartridge, the fact that this glows, really cool. And All right, what about number two? We got this thing. 
You have the DS. Yes, the DS. This oh. is actually a DS, a DSi, um, DSi XL. And like I said before, this is the 25th um, Super Mario Brothers Anniversary Tw Edition. 25th Anniversary Edition. Yeah, really cool right. that I got this for nothing from a co-worker. Um, really stoked. Uh, how about the condition of this, pal? Oh, uh, that looks awesome. The, the mushroom, the like fire plant, and the star, and I don't know. If it's That's the camera. That's a front camera there. Oh, and then you got, wait, let me hold it. So I have Castlevania. Uh, one of the Castlevanias playing in there. I can't remember which one. That looks like, if you can see it barely, like down below, that looks awesome. It looks kind of like an anime. Yeah, it's basically an anime for the Castlevania. This is, um, could be Order of Ecclesius. Um, hold on a second. You know what? I'll just pop it out and, and check. And then on the front there, it, it is, like... Yeah, Order of Ecclesius I have in here. So, pretty freaking cool. All right, how about the number one item, bud, out of all that stuff, which is quite a bit of stuff. It's the battle toad. Oh, we're going battle toads. He's joking. <laughs> it's this the okay. Super Nintendo. All right, guys, the Super Nintendo. I think that's the first thing that Nintendo made to make second. like. Second. Oh. This is the second system Nintendo for, made for like Mario, like for the Mario, like the first one, Super Mario Brothers. And stuff. I'm not, I'm not yeah, they had uh, Yoshi um, in Super Mario World with Yoshi on this system. Yeah. Yoshi, his first appearance, well, you know, that you actually could, could use him in the game to like ride on him or whatever in a Mario game was on this system. Other than that, I think it was Yoshi's Cookies in on the NES, which that was a puzzle game and not, not a platformer. Um, so pretty freaking cool. What, what's the condition of this look like, pal? That looks like a system, like um. Does it look nice, like, yeah. or does it look beat up? It looks nice, but it's like it looks old because it is old. It's like well, it is old for him, but uh, yeah, this thing is in excellent shape. Did you know a lot of these yellowed because something they put in the plastic, um, like you know, some kind of fire retardant? Yeah. Turn for, these yellow. And yeah, this, for Japan. No, no. In the, well, both the U.S. and Japan. Now, is this thing yellowed at all or all gray? It is so yellow, my eyes are burning. I'm joking. <laughs> it is gray. It is gray. Okay guys, so now you heard it. Those are my son's favorite three items out of all these pickups. Definitely let me know in the comments what are your favorite three. Uh, let me know what some of the newest pickups you guys got over the holidays and stuff. Hope everybody had a good time. Uh, thanks for watching to the end of the video and thanks to my son Sean for popping in here since it's been quite a while. Thanks pal. No problem. All right guys, but um, till next time, we're out. Have a Bye. good one. Bye.